We've been busy improving many aspects of building and running your code. From new Qt project types, improved makefile support, the ability to disable CMake profiles, and a couple of enhancements to the run and debug config dialogs. Let's explore these now. You may notice we've redesigned our welcome screen. It's now more streamlined and is a better fit for all the options we've added over time. One such new option is project templates for two types of Qt projects, console and widget executables. Let's try the second one and see what we get. As you can see, as well as the usual location and language standard options, we can now specify a Qt version and optionally a Qt CMake prefix path. If you set this to the location of the CMake folder under your Qt installation, it will get added as a variable in the generated CMake file. If you don't do it at project creation, you can always add it here later or into your CMake cache as an option in your CMake profile or as an environment variable. Just be aware that without it set somewhere, find package will not find your Qt installation. Although the generated CMake file will detect that and error out here instead. But assuming that's all set, this simple Qt project generated from our templates is all ready to go. But our new Qt support doesn't end there. As well as the expected completions for Qt functions and types, CLine is now even aware of Qt signals and slots, and will filter its completion list to the appropriate subset where it spots that that's expected. We also support quick fix imports of headers for Qt types. And we have a new Qt UI class template. Using this, we can specify the Qt base class to use. And you can modify the templates used to generate these classes in the settings. We continue in our push towards full makefile support with several new features and improvements. We now have support for projects that use libtool and ccache. To demonstrate, we're going to open the curl project, which uses libtool. But when we configure it, we'll set the compilers to be fronted by ccache. So both these features will be used. Now that's configured, we're ready to open it in CLine. But before we do that, let's stage a build here so that we can verify that we're using both libtool and ccache. Great, so now we open the make file project in CLine. And now we can see that we already have run configs created for us. Another improvement. These are the targets from the top level make file only, with some filtered out, such as the clean target and any that correspond to .o files or unknown extensions. And by default, it's selected all. So we can see our source files have been recognized over here in the project view. And if we open one, we'll get intelligent code navigation using the index that we've been able to build. Of course, we can build the project. And let's just run it to make sure it all works. And there we go. Not the easiest way to see what the latest episodes of CPP chat are, but certainly an easy way to work with make files that use libtool and ccache. And talking of making things easy, We've also made it harder to do some things wrong by improving some of our error detection and messaging. For example, if you try to use a remote toolchain, which is not currently supported for make files, you'll be warned right in the settings page. We also have some CMake improvements. In particular, you can now selectively disable CMake profiles. This is important as it can be useful to have CMake profiles configured that are either expensive to keep loaded or maybe they don't always even work, as may be the case with some remote development profiles. On the CMake Profile Settings page, there's a new checkbox for Enable Profile that you can uncheck to disable. You'll see its entry grayed out when you do that.
You can also disable loaded profiles from the configuration pop-up menu here. You can re-enable them from here too. Or if a profile failed to load, you'll be directly given the option to disable it here. And we have a couple of updates to the run config dialogs. First, setting environment variables. Now we've always been able to set environment variables from the run config using this simple GUI. But now we've added an extra ability to load those variables in from a file. In fact, this file is a full script, although only setting variables is supported. Now you can use both the GUI and the script, but note that for variables with the same name, the ones in the script will take precedence. This feature is available to all tool chains, all build system types, and all test runner configs. And finally, for large or complex projects, it may take some time for CLine to index all your code. While this runs in the background and is mostly non-intrusive, it does block some things. And one thing it used to block was editing run configs, but no more. So now you have to find another excuse for taking time out for sword fighting. So with new cute project types and completion filtering, improvements to make file support, disabling CBake profiles, and run config enhancements, you can now build and run better than ever.